recalibrating your 3D printer is not that difficult. Today, I'm going to show you how you can calibrate your Ender 3 Pro or maybe other 3D printers using Marlin 2.0. Coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Precise as possible. Sometimes it's needed to calibrate your 3D printer. Sometimes when you are doing upgrades on your 3D print kind of stepper motors, different kind of mainboard or some other components that check out if all axes are calibrated well enough and maybe if I can improve just a little bit more that it is more accurate as before. So now we are going to print a new head. The calibration cube is printed and during the slicing process I made sure that the Y axis is in this direction, the X X is in this direction and the ZX is on top and on the bottom of the calibration cube. Now we are going to take it off the 3D printer and let's see which kind of measurements we are going to get. There is only one tool that you need to have for 3D printing. So now the Y X is without too much squeezing 20.1. When you are going to calibrate your 3D printer, the X-X, the Y-X and the Z-X, we are going to use one formula. And that is called the size that it's supposed to be. In this case, it's a 20 millimeter calibration cube. So in every direction, in every X, it should be 20. So that is our first number that we are going to write down. My 3D printer is in the Y-X well calibrated. We are going to check the X-X as well. And it's 20. So I can leave it as it is or I can change it. But if I'm going to change it, the setting now is 80. When I use 79 points something, then it's going to be a little bit tinier, a little bit smaller in the X direction, but then it could be more that on. In this case, it's only a calibration cube of 20 millimeters. But if you are going to print bigger parts or parts that should go in each other, like a puzzle, like the Unmove Robo parts, then you have to make sure that everything on your 3D printer is well enough calibrated. So, yeah, if I don't squeeze too much or just hold it normally, it's 20.1 in the X direction. Let's measure the Z X. So in the height, in the height, I have 19.9. So a little note, then you write the formula down 20 from the 20 millimeter cube times the current step. In this case, it's 80. And then we are going to divide it by the measured side of this calibration cube. Well, for the X X, it was 21. In the Y X, it was also 21. And in the Z X, the last measure, it was 19.9. Now we are going to use the formula. When we are multiplying the 20 by the 80, we get 1600. 1600 we divided by the 20.9 and then we get 79.6019. You can do 79.6. Because we have in the yx and in the xx the same measurement, we can also apply this number, this figure, for that X as well. Then for the Z high, we had 19.9. We have a different kind of current step. For the Z X, it's the height, and the height is 400. When we multiply it by 20, we get 8000. Then we measure the we divided the 8000 by the 19.9. In 
and we get 402. So as you hear, for the horizontal axis, we have a lower figure because the cube was a little bit bigger, but in the height it was a little bit smaller, but just a little bit. You can say, well, I leave it as it is like that, but you can also check if you can just fine tune it a bit more. So now we are going to adjust the steps in the 3D printer. Press the knob and go to configuration. Then we go to advanced settings. And then we are going to steps slash millimeters. We press the knob and then we have the X step millimeter setting 80.0 for the formula that we had we had 79.6 we press the knob and we just go a little bit down and as you can see it's not that much but now we are calibrating our 3d printer in the x steps per millimeter now we do the same by the 80. 80, we dial a little bit down. It's not that much. Then we press the knob. And for the Z step, we are going to go to 402. This is a little bit more. There. Because it's just one digit behind the, the dot, we leave it as it is now. And we go another step back and we say store settings. Now we get a beep which says that everything should be set. We are going now to print a calibration cube again and let's see how the measurements are now. So like you can see, I already put some leftover filament in case the other one runs out. The print is ready and let's see how the calibration did work out. So we take the caliper again, we measure the y-x and what do you know? 20.0 the x-ax 20.0 the z-ax 20.0 so I just fine-tuned my 3D printer even a bit more the difference between this cube and this cube wasn't that big. 0 0.1 and uh, 90.9. But now I fine tuned this even more. Now to wrap up this video. If you have some time to work on your 3D printer and calibrate it so that you have perfect prints, then go ahead, keep in mind that when you are going to do this, use the calibration cube. You know that the size is 20 by 20 by 20. And then you are going to 